All right, my loves, I'm Maddie, and as you might have guessed, I really love writing songs. Now, in my life, I've got a lot of friends and I meet a lot of people who are really interested in writing songs, but they don't necessarily know where to begin. Some people have loads of words, some people can play an instrument, but then they're missing that next step into making it into a song. So today, you're gonna meet my lovely, lovely friend, Chelsea. She is of the type of person who has a lot of words. She's got a lot of lyrical ideas, she writes poems, but hasn't as yet managed to turn any of those into a song. So across a few videos, we're gonna take what she's got and we're gonna end up with a song. So I would like to introduce Chelsea. Hi, Charles. Hi, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Chelsea. Where um, are you from? Uh, Bristol. Bristol. Yeah. And this sort of came about because you you write a lot of words, right? Yeah. yeah. Lots and lots of words. How, yeah. how does that like work for you? I've just been uh, writing poems prolifically forever. Um, you know, I was quite inspired by like John Keats when I was younger, Songs mm -hmm. of Innocence and Experience and, and such. And you know, it's always been just a way for me to channel my environment, my emotions, and kind of it's always been just a way of processing my world. And you know, over time, just doing that more and more out of like habit at this point um, and when creativity strikes so yeah the lyrics are you know that it's okay because I'm warming myself on the suns of yesterday you know that it's all right promise next time I'm gonna put up a fight or next round I'm gonna put up a fight you know that it's okay up on the suns of yesterday you know that it's all right promise next round i'm gonna put up a fight put up a fight mm -hmm. like even though without like musical training or kind of you know being able to it, that flows a lot better for me and mm -hmm. being able to even with poetry and things when i'm writing it it's already a performance as well yeah. it's got that element of it it's, it's got, got the rhythm a, it's got a rhythm yeah yeah and it kind of it's a lot easier than just yeah prose so you already came with the rhythm you thought about the rhythm and the melody as well so if it, if it hadn't have been at that stage yet i think the first thing to have done would have been to practice saying it and finding the rhythm do you know what i mean yeah and that's how you would take words from the realm of just being words into like, right, I'm going to start saying them in a bit because you've got, you've got, you know that it's okay and you've got like a bit yeah. of a rhythm going. So if you're the kind of person who's got words on your phone, maybe try recording yourself just saying them and working out what the natural rhythm is first. Yeah. I would say that's obviously something you've done already yeah. and you've worked on the melody and yeah. it's got the, the whole mood of your, your words in there. It's got that sort of like slight vulnerability to it and everything. Very proud of you for singing it on camera too. <laughs> yes. Yes. The next stage was to try and work out, because obviously at that point you didn't have a guitar. No. Uh, yes. No, I did not. <laughs> so just literally the pitch you sang it at, Yeah. I picked up a guitar and just played what felt to me like the obvious chords that went underneath what Chelsea was singing. The note that Chelsea was starting on was a D. You know that which fits into a G chord, because a G is made up of G, B, and D. You know that it... So it goes in that chord. Okay. Going up to an F sharp, which fits into that. It's a B minor seven, it could just be a B minor. But it's just the notes that she was playing. I was picking chords that include those notes. So it's, you know that it's okay. Myself on the sun of yesterday. You know that it's alright. Promise next time I'm gonna put up a fight, put up a fight. Because the fact that you repeated put up a fight as well yeah. made it really hooky. That's a really good yeah. thing to do for a chorus, and that is when you sang this, we were like, well, that's obviously a chorus. That feels like a chorus. Yeah. And having that line at the end that repeats yeah. means that it's gonna really stick in someone's head when they hear it. Because the, that one section existed, I really wanted more of the song to exist. So that's when we were just sort of like, I was just playing around with the same chords. Yeah. And I kept it to very few because I think you don't need to have a lot of different chords. And obviously that's yeah. going to make it easier for 
you to play it. Yeah, well. totally. She's gonna play it. <laughs> and also, like, just you talking about like verses, because I wrote a mm. lot of it with a similar sort of um, tempo stuff of the chorus. I oh yeah. I didn't know how to get outside because that's what kind of you know when inspiration strikes and that's a sort of you're channeling something. It feels like a song. You've got a chorus. You've got verses, and I had the sound of the chorus, but I. You know, you were talking about like a bridge and like ways mm. of actually making a song. My uh, barrier there is uh, a lack of experience, discipline, and just knowledge, really. You've got like four stanzas, basically, haven't you? Yeah, essentially. And the first one that you've written out is the one that is the chorus. Yeah. And when you were first playing it to me, you were singing that same melody to all the others as well. Yeah. So I was like, right, how do we make the verses be different? Yeah. You've got this nice, like, high melody you know that it's okay so you don't want to necessarily be going up that high for your verse because you want to like leave some space to be like oh here's the chorus when it comes yeah. you know yeah it's really good to just work with a really obvious song structure if you're not used to it so just go verse chorus verse chorus then a bridge which is different and then maybe another verse but then definitely a chorus at the end yeah spend my whole life stepping aside for someone else Maybe next time I'll learn to put it on the shelf Getting to think that I've already had my day But I'm sunning myself with yesterday's rays So I just was making up a melody yeah. that was kind of a bit of a contrast It was like fewer notes, it wasn't as high Yeah. Just to give you the idea of what I was trying to explain about the verse There's this concept about the verse like being the bridesmaid not allowed to outshine the bride, which is the <laughs> chorus. So if your chorus has got like these like certain notes in it, try and avoid using them until then. <laughs> the verses are like the storytelling bit because you've summed up in your chorus. You know that it's okay because I'm warming myself on the suns of yesterday. You know that it's all right. Promise next time I'm going to put up a fight. So it's like this bit of melancholy but hope. Yeah. And that's summing up your whole vibe. And that's what the chorus does because it comes back yeah. again and again. And then the verses are the storytelling bit. So I spent my whole life stepping aside for someone else. That's kind of like you're starting in a less positive place. And then by the end of the song, you'll have built up to the positivity and the listener will have like gone on that journey with you. Because if a song just kind of tells you the same thing all the way through, because I'm happy. <laughs> like if it's just the same all the way through, it doesn't yeah. take you on so much of a journey, which this song I think should. So we're going to wrap up this episode to be continued, but we're going to just sing verse one and the chorus. I spent my whole life stepping aside for someone else. Maybe next time I'll learn to put it up on the shelf. Can it think that I've already had my day? I'm sunning myself on yesterday's race you know that it's okay cause I'm warning myself on the suns of yesterday you know that it's alright promise next time I'm gonna put up a fight 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 <laughs> so at the end of stage one how do you feel good like stoked to be stoked. honest stoked I, i've said before i really enjoy creative conversations in mm -hmm. different ways and this has been you know something that i've always wanted to do and never had the confidence um or the you know the just letting it go and mm -hmm. actually just being able to play around and have fun with it. Like, yeah. I'm with my friend, we're playing around, I'm learning new things, I'm getting to, you know, see something that I've written was just an idea and see it a little bit realised mm -hmm. while learning. Like, absolutely, it's super fun. Yay! <laughs> so next time, I think we'll work a little bit on a bridge sort of fleshing out the rest of the song, maybe focusing in on what the actual tune for the verse should be. Mm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and getting a bridge to sort of contrast. A bridge comes like two-thirds way through the song and it's usually good for it to be just like a total contrast to the rest of it. And we'll focus a bit on that and maybe um, sorting out the chords with a capo on so that you can play them as well. Yeah, sounds great. Because that's my ultimate goal in life is to make you play it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get there. Yes. <laughs> 
I hope you have enjoyed this start of Chelsea's songwriting journey. <laughs> Make sure you give this video a like to show Chelsea some love. Look at her little like, face. Like she wants it, your love. Like <laughs> and obviously there's going to be more episodes of this series journey the chelsea saga <laughs> will be coming so make sure you subscribe to the channel and also hit the little bell because then you'll actually be notified when chelsea's beautiful face pops up again <laughs> see you guys soon